What's up nail fiends? Welcome back to another video. So first off I just want to say hello. I am sorry that I've been missing but I am now back and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my haul that I've been collecting over the past few weeks. As you guys know I took a little bit of a break from YouTube for personal reasons but everything is getting slowly back into order and I thought today I would film one of my favourite things to film which is hauls. So as I said I have been collecting this over the last few weeks so I've accumulated quite a little bit. So this video is definitely definitely going to be a long one but if you guys would like to see everything I got then just keep on watching So lovelies, diving right in with today's video and the first few items I have to share with you are all from Hobbycraft. So while they're not necessarily nail art related items, Hobbycraft is one of my favourite places to go for some random nail art that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So the first lot of items I have to share with you are all glitter. As you guys know, I am absolutely loving mixing my own glitters. So I went ahead and picked up two of their 80 gram pots, which is their larger ones. And these glitter shakers are in gold and blue. And then I went ahead and grabbed three of their biodegradable glitters and I got, like I said, I got three of those. I first got the pink one, which has a really beautiful rosy undertones to it. It is simply gorgeous. So these are all 40 gram tubes. And then I also got sky blue. I love this colour. It is such a gorgeous colour and definitely one I will be using in some up and coming glitter mixes. I love it. And then finally for these glitter pots, I also went ahead and got the gold one. So the next nail art related item I got from Hobbycraft is some of these silver moon gilding flakes. I already have these in gold and I've raved about them before. You get so much product in that pot that I will never need to go out and buy more. I then got some of these irregular shaped sponges for some really nice sort of gradient nail art. And I did the same. I got these dabbers and I thought these would be great for gel ombre. And then I also picked up one of these spatulas. I thought this would be handy when I am needing to scoop out my 3d gels because sometimes my little spatula thing that i have bends so i thought this would be a lot more sturdy in. and then i got a couple new palettes i use these all the time for my watercolors or my acrylic paints or even my nail polish and mines were totally worse for wear so i picked up a plastic one and also a metal one and then the next items that I got from Hobbycraft were sort of nail art related items. I got these organza bows in this really beautiful purple shade. I'm, I may have to trim them to get them on my nail, but I'm definitely willing to work with them. And then I also got some of these little embellishment flowers. These are like little paper flowers. They were super cute. So I picked up two different sets of those. I may not use them for nail art, but I will be using them for my planner and things like that. So they will get utilised. And I also picked up this butterfly and floral set for that same purpose. So guys, we are now moving on to my acrylic purchases and we are starting with the Glitter Bells ones. So I did go ahead and pick these up from a, a Glitter and also Glitter Bells Direct. I will go ahead and leave exactly where I got them, a link down below. But I do have a discount code now for a, a Glitter, which I will also leave below. I used to have one that was just a basic code. Then I have now got an affiliate code. I want to keep that transparent with you guys. So if you do use my code, I will get a small commission, which just helps me with my channel so as you saw there i got their metal file and that is basically a removable file so i got that one and their 180 grit files i also got a bottle of their base glue which is for applying crystals but it could also be used for applying foil and then i also went ahead and got a bottle of their no wipe gel top coat so the first cover acrylic powder that I picked up this time was one of their larger tubs and this is in cashmere cover and it was most definitely one of my favourite from the website. So I went ahead and picked up a large pot of that and I also got a large pot of their soft white which is basically like an almost transparent white. It looks absolutely gorgeous and I think it would be perfect for French ombres. Then moving on to the coloured acrylics I got this time. So first up we have blue velvet and guys just look at this. It has such a beautiful sparkle to it and I can't wait to swatch it for you guys. It is definitely one that caught my eye recently. Then we have Blossom which is a really beautiful sort of nudie pink. Again what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these all separately for you guys so stay tuned for that up and coming video. Then we have Light Grey. Again another beautiful colour and definitely greys and things like that are one of 
my favourite colours to use when it comes into autumn and winter. Then we have Juicy Apricot, which speaks for itself. It is such a beautiful sort of salmon pink colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So I got one of those as well. And another one I'm super, super excited about is Citronella. Um, if I had to pick one of my favourite colours, it would be yellow. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need this in my life. I've had my eye on it for ages, so I finally went ahead and got it. Then we have Carbon Black, which is obviously a black acrylic powder. You can never go wrong with a solid black acrylic, and I love that one. Then we have My Rose, which again, guys, this one is simply gorgeous. Another one that has a really beautiful, subtle shimmer to that powder. I can't wait to use it. Then we have Strawberry Delight, which it is just simply striking, even in the pot. Again, I think this colour is going to be absolutely amazing. Then we have Indigo Rain, which is a really beautiful sort of soft lilac. I absolutely adore this. Again, when I saw the swatch pictures, it completely caught my eye. And then the last and final one I have to share with you from Glitter Bells is Creme Brulee, which is one that my Scottish accent really does not want to say, so I had to practice that one for you guys. <laughs> And now, lovelies, we are moving on to my purchases from Glitter Planet UK. So, as you guys know, in my chit chat sort of Glitter Planet UK video that I did a few weeks ago, I had a trial kit and I did want to wait until they brought out their colours and things before I bought any more. So, now that they've got their colours, I did pick up a few. They were rapidly sold out. But first, I wanted to share with you the new Flexi Hand. So, I actually didn't know that Flexi Hand had brought out um, a new model of their absolutely amazing hand. Uh, this one is actually, like, as you can see, it's almost a full hand as opposed to just the fingers. So it's going to look ace in the pictures. I still have the original model and I also have the flexi finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison for you guys. But yeah, I went ahead and picked that up and I'm so freaking excited to have it. I absolutely love the flexi hand and it's definitely one of my favourite sort of fake hands. So I also went ahead and picked up some of their um, flexi tips. So these are basically supposed to be more natural so I picked up two packs of them and I thought they would be really handy to have and now moving on to the actual acrylic powders that I picked up this time so first I got their cover in perfect pink which was absolutely my favorite cover powder that they had on their website so I did go ahead and pick up the larger pot of that and I also picked up a larger pot of their crystal clear because let's face it we always use more clear than anything else and then like I said guys I went ahead and picked up six of their colors I will be adding more of these to my collection as time goes but I just got these ones for now so first up we have powder blue uh, guys this one is gorgeous i have already swatched these for you guys but i'm going to be showing you in the next up and coming video they are amazing we then have plum pie this one i'm not going to lie i wasn't too fond of it at all it is a lot darker than the actual powder but it's sort of like um it's really hard to build up the full color if that makes any sense we then have bubble gum which was absolutely one of my favorites from the whole collection it is a stunning acrylic powder I love it and it may be the one I use next for my next design then I went ahead and got mint ninja because let's face it mint is one of my favorite colors and I think it's perfect for all season long whether you're going for summer nails or winter nails mint could be utilized in any kind of design and then I also went ahead and got Dusky Pink, which was the one of the acrylic powders that um, Lorna used when she was showing off the new Flexi Hand. So I fell in love with that and had to add that to my collection as well. And then finally, guys, the last and final acrylic powder I picked up from Nailmate this time was Neon Blue. Because let's face it, it would not be me if I didn't have a Neon Blue. Then next up, I went ahead and bought one of their Nail Mate gel top coats. So this is their High Shine one. I've heard rave reviews about this, so I had to add it to my own collection. And then I went ahead and picked up three of their new Micro Flakes. So I got mine in Pink Flame. This is the one I'm showing you now. It's absolutely gorgeous. Seriously, guys, these are so freaking cute. I cannot wait to use these ones. And then we have Bejeweled. This is one I saw Lorna recently use. It is simply gorgeous and one of my favorites out of the three and then we finish off with pink lemonade which again simply gorgeous and i just cannot wait to use these they are so freaking cute 
And now guys, we are moving on to my purchases from Nail Artisan. So Nail Artisan is most definitely my one-stop shop for anything stamping related. And I was absolutely blown away when I found some of Upper Cheek's new releases. I did not know that Upper Cheek were releasing their own stamping gel polishes. I, I have never seen them. I had never heard about them. I kind of stopped using Upper Cheek simply because stamping, I just sort of fell out of love with it. But when I saw these, I thought, yes, these are right up my street. So I got two. I got first my favourite black and I got essential white and I also went ahead and picked up their little LED torch so you could basically go ahead and flash cure your designs as you're going along but I kind of thought this would also be useful for the prey system because the torch is a lot more easier to hold than the one you got in the kit so I think again this has multiple purposes to it. And then next up guys, like I said, I did also go ahead and pick up a few new stamping plates. So first up from Lena Nail Art Supplies, I went ahead and picked up one of their mini collab plates. So this one is in collaboration with Kombucha Witch, who is an absolutely awesome Instagram nail artist. I followed her for ages, so I just had to add this one to my collection. And then I went ahead and got four other cheek stamping plates. So first up, we have Nice and Negative, and this one is perfect for the reverse stamping method, so you could color in your own decals and then I also went ahead and got Secret Garden and I just adore this one I could see so many different awesome floral designs with this one I absolutely love it and then most excitedly for me I went ahead and got some of their wild luxury stamping plates so I got two I got the warm blooded one which um, features animal prints from things like tigers leopards zebra print or just lots of different um, sort of prints in there and then I also picked up the cold blooded one which is more a reptile so we have like iguanas, snakes, all of that sort of crocodile print I just love it and now guys we are moving on to my purchases from a, a Glitter and this time I'm going to be sharing with you their subscription service. So this is basically a monthly subscription box. They do it in three different tiers. You get silver, gold and platinum. The silver will cost you £10, gold £20 and platinum £40. So I went with the platinum service and in that one you get 15 glitters or nail powders which if you get a nail powder that one will be two glitters. You also get eight nail art items, one acrylic core powder or colour or gel polish and also a, a sorry a voucher for a, a glitter so I'm going to share with you what I got in August subscription service and this is the third month I've got it and I can't say that I've been disappointed any month I've actually in the last two months received um, two acrylic powders and also a glitter bells gel polish and I was in love with every colour I received they do try their hardest to make sure you don't get um, duplicates but if you do there's always ways that, that you could go ahead and switch swap them with someone else so jumping into what I actually got this month first up we got this nail art mat which is absolutely freaking gorgeous and I think this would be perfect for filming videos or also your nail art pictures and then moving on to the nail art bits I got this time so first up we have this little stamper here so this is basically like a clear jelly stamper but it's a lot shorter than some of the ones that you see elsewhere again it looks like it's really good quality it comes with a lid and also a scraper and then moving on with the rest of the nail art I got, I also got one of these wax picking pencils which always come in handy and then I got just a buffing block, a plain buffing block, you can never have too many of these and then I also got a tiny little dappen dish which this is the second one I've got of these, I am so in love with them and again they're super easy for like mobile nail techs because they are so small and then I also got this set of sort of like iridescent oil spill um, foils, I love these and I also got some water decal and some of these really gorgeous gold charms and then I also got a set of um, little they're not Swarovski they're just basically like little Aurora crystals and then I also got a little set of uh, Swarovski crystals as well I got mine's in SS3 crystal AB which is one of my most used sizes again they are easy just to fill up the rest of your bling nails and then, like I said, guys, each month you will get a Glitter Bells product. My one this time was an acrylic powder called My Rose. I already have this one, so I am going to be going ahead and swapping it with one of the ladies in one of my Facebook groups. So again, super easy to make sure you don't get any duplicates. And now we are moving on to the glitters. Like I said, I got 15 glitters in 5 gram pots. So first up, we have Pastel Mauve, which I absolutely love. And I actually already own this one, so once again, 
I am going to be either popping this to the side for an up and coming giveaway or I will be swapping it with one of the other ladies. Then we have Intergalactic which is one I don't own. I haven't saw this one before. I am in love with it. It's a beautiful navy and pink mix. I absolutely adore it. And then we have this absolutely gorgeous one from their cocktail collection and this one is called Pina Colada. Again, as you can see, it's a really beautiful pink iridescent mix. I absolutely adore it. Then we have these hollow silver mermaid scales. These I adore, guys. I have so many different colours of these in my collection, but surprisingly, silver isn't one of them. So I'm so excited to have those. Then we have Poison Ivy. This one is a dot mix, so it has various sizes of little dots in it. I love these. They're so easy to just pop on the nail and they really do create some really beautiful nail art so i'm so excited to have them in those colors then we have strawberry uh, sorry raspberry jam and this is one of their new releases so i'm so pumped that i um, actually got this because it was sold out when i went to get it on the website so when i saw this i was over the moon and then we have a fine mix and this one is called pixie dust perfect for just sugaring over any of your gel polish absolutely love this one and then next up we have musicorn so this is basically like um a like a sort of like a multi mix and it has got little pieces of unicorn glitters in there stars it has little music signs it is gorgeous so unique and one i haven't saw before then we have matte pastel plum this is another one that i already own so again this one will be going aside for either a giveaway or i will be swapping it with one of the ladies in my group i haven't quite decided yet and then we have another new release this is strawberry laces and this is from their retro sweets collection I have none of these yet I was waiting to see if I got any of these so I could go ahead and buy the rest because I didn't want to duplicate them so excited to have that then we have this one from their daisy collection and these are like little florals that could be encapsulated in the nail so freaking cute then we have opal fruits in lime again absolutely gorgeous I honestly guys I cannot say enough about the mixes she really does have a brain for mixing glitters they are absolutely stunning then from the fairy collection we have this beautiful pink mix this one is simply gorgeous as well and also has those little micro flakes in it so gorgeous then we have this tinsel mix and this one is called chameleon strands i don't really use these in my nail art but what i do like them for is mixing with my glitters because they do look um really nice in mixes but they're not my favorite right off the nail if that makes any sense and then finally from the american dreams collection we have chameleon which speaks for itself guys it is stunning and now guys we are moving on to my purchases from cjp so i didn't really get any acrylic this time because i did buy a crap load the last time but i did go ahead and grab some of their brushes and also some of their nail art items so let's jump right into it so the first item i got was one of their glitter brushes so this is basically their i'm sure it's yeah time to shine glitter brush and this is perfect for adding pigments or glitters or anything like that to your inhibition layer i needed one of these in my life so much because my last glitter brush has seen better days so i was so excited when i found this on their website for so cheap and then I also went ahead and got one of their gel brushes as you can see it's just a plain white brush and I actually think this one came as part of the gel um, magnet gels that I'm going to be showing you soon I'm not 100% sure but I will leave that for sure linked down below then I went ahead and got their CJP um, Precise uh, 3D brush. Sorry, guys, my I cannot get my tongue to go around these words at the moment. And then I also got an acrylic brush. So this is actually a size 12 brush, and it was made in collaboration with um, Liz Guild, who is an awesome nail artist here on YouTube. So I'm so excited to try this. I've only really been using a size 8 acrylic brush, and I'm finding that the beads are just too small, um, so I wanted to go up a step. So I went with this size 12 one and I'm hoping that it works for me and now guys we are moving on to the nail art related items I got from CJP so first up I got this rose gold set so everything you're about to see all comes in one kit for about £22 so I first got that rose gold foil that you just saw and then I got these absolutely gorgeous rose gold bling pieces so you have lots of different shapes and sizes in there and they are absolutely gorgeous and I must admit the packaging in this little kit is so freaking adorable and then I also got a set of these caviar beads also 
in rose gold. I actually have silver and gold and lots of different colours but I don't have rose gold so I'm so pleased to have these ones in my collection and they're also the larger ones which are perfect for adding to your bling nails so I am so freaking pumped to have them ones. Then I also got a set of rose gold crystals. These are not Swarovski but they do sparkle really really pretty and they're in an absolutely gorgeous colour as well. I wouldn't quite say they're rose gold. I would say they're more of a sort of like um, nudie colour um, but still really really beautiful. And then I got two glitters. First up we have rose gold in fine. Just look at this glitter guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It really reminds me of um, Glitter Planet UK's Frank which is one of my favourites so I was absolutely pumped to have this one. It is simply striking and then you also get another glitter but this time it's more of a chunkier uh, glitter. This one is called their Rose Gold Multi Mix or Mix Grades or something like that I'm not quite sure but just look at that guys. It is so freaking stunning. As you can see it is a multi uh, grade glitter. Perfect for encapsulating and I cannot wait to do a full set using all of these little bits. Then you also get two sort of like powders, chrome powders type things and they each come with their own little applicator. So first up we have, when my camera decides to zoom in, we have the rose gold chrome powder. So like you guys may remember from one of my last videos, I am in the pursuit for a really beautiful rose gold powder. This one is not as quite rosy gold as I would like but still an absolutely gorgeous powder and I cannot wait to give this one a go. Then we also have the hollow powder which is their rose gold hollow. I have never seen a rose gold hollow powder before and I was so freaking pumped to have this one. I love it. I'm not even going to stress how much I absolutely adore this colour. So if you guys would like to see me do a full nail design using all of these rose gold sort of themed products, definitely let me know and that's something that I could arrange as soon as possible because I would most definitely love to do that. So yeah, give me an excuse guys. <laughs> then we are moving on. I also got a set of their, um, these are basically gels but they're magnetic gels. I don't own any magnetic gels at all. I've never really favoured them but when I saw these I thought yes I need these in my life. So as you could see while I was filming this I was having a little play just to see how strong they are and even in the pot guys the magnetic particles are so freaking bomb. It just lights up and changes the like the whole look of the gel. So yeah as you could see I'm just having a little bit of a play seeing what each looks like and I got basically um, five different colours in this set and they retail for about £25 I believe after you take in VAT and things like that so again absolutely cheap and was over the moon with the whole bundle so yeah here is the rest lastly we have no not lastly second to last we have silver and then finally we have the green one and i must admit the silver one was my absolute favorite guys just look at that it's like melted silver it is so freaking beautiful i love it and then the last one in the set is the green one and when I saw the label I thought this was going to be like lime green but it really isn't. It's such a muted green and it really is a gorgeous colour. And then finally from CGP, I went ahead and bought a set of their nail foils. So I have really got into nail foils recently. I have been doing lots of different sort of like um, designs that I want to do for my channel. So I practiced beforehand and foil has been predominant in a lot of them. So I did want to go ahead and treat myself to some better quality ones. And I adore the packaging in these. They are so easy just to pop into my folder without bending or wrinkling them. And now guys, we are moving on to Aubrey's Accessories UK and I actually had never even heard of this site. One of my lovely subscribers said this is where she buys all of her glitter from. They do some awesome mixes and all of that good stuff. So I went ahead to investigate and I found this massive box of glitter. So this is basically 200 grams of glitter in one kit. I was in glitter heaven when I saw this so I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So jumping right in, as you can see, we first start with this beautiful rose gold holographic mix which has stars and little circles in it perfect for mixing with other glitters which is the reason I went ahead and bought these glitters I just think they are the perfect size I'm sure each bag is 10 grams which is a lot of product and perfect I could get so many different glitter mixes from all of these so I was definitely pumped so now we have this beautiful teal one which is just the same as the gold one but obviously in a teal holographic 
Then we have this Simply Stunning Pink Iridescent Mix. I cannot wait to mix this one with something. It is so freaking gorgeous, but just a little bit plain on its own. So I have a few ideas for my next glitter mixes in mind, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So yeah, let's keep going. So now we have that beautiful lime green and pink dotty mix. Then we have this gorgeous silver holographic mix. This one is a little bit chunky, but still not too chunky that you can't mix it with your gels or whatever medium that you are actually using. Then we have this gorgeous gold mix. This one is a multiple grades from really fine to definitely one of the more chunkier sized glitters. Still freaking gorgeous, but I would say this one is more for those who encapsulate their nail art. Then we have this simply beautiful Aurora one. This one is again not as chunky as the last one so you could probably use this for any medium that you have. I love Aurora powders so I'm so glad to have such a large bag. Then we have this gorgeous pink, gold and purple holographic dot mix. Simply beautiful. Again, I just love it. Even on its own it's a beautiful glitter but I think mixed up with some glitter this is going to be perfect. We then have another Aurora one. This one shifts from a really beautiful pink to a purple. This one is a lot more chunkier than the last one. Still simply beautiful. I just adore it. Then next up we have another beautiful holographic mix. This one has again predominantly little dots in it all in various sizes and you have so many different colours in there. Again I think this one would be perfect for mixing with some um, finer glitter for a really unique mix. We then have this silver and purple one. This one is like the last ones. It is a little bit chunky, but one of those that are not too chunky that you can't use it with um, any other medium. We then have these little Mickey heads. These are all holographic and we have purples, blues, golds, reds. You basically have the whole rainbow in this little bag. We then have this absolutely stunning chameleon sort of one. This one I just cannot wait to use. It is so freaking beautiful. I didn't want to use um, my own personal glitters. So having this huge bag is just the perfect excuse to make such a beautiful autumn sort of mix. We then have another um, Aurora mix this one is again slightly chunky but not too chunky that you can't use it with anything like your regular polish it is still you'll still be able to just sprinkle it over the top we then have this sort of blue silver and gold mix again these are dots but they are a lot smaller than the last dotty mix we then have this pink and orange and purple mix this one is beautiful we then have this sort of lilac mauve sort of like metallic glitter i really do adore this one and i do think i have seen other sellers sell this so i'm just wondering if this is maybe where um people who make glitter actually buy their glitter supplies from so yeah i have saw some of these glitters in some mixes from other stores so yeah i'm really pleased that i have found this it is such an awesome site and I had no issues whatsoever. Then next up we have this gorgeous red holographic mix. This one again is slightly chunky. I absolutely adore this one and I think mixed with some black chunky pieces this is going to be an awesome glitter. We then have another iridescent pink. This one is a lot more sort of like a bubblegum Barbie sort of pink. I love this one. Again really one of my favourites from the whole pile. Next we have a purple holographic mix. So again, as you can see, this one is um, multiple grades from a really fine glitter to a more chunkier sort of like a dotty mix. And the holographic shift in this, guys, is so freaking strong. I love this one. We then have these really beautiful holographic silver stars. As you guys may aware, be aware, sorry, stars are so freaking popular just now. So I was so excited to have those. We then have another holographic rose gold mix. I adore this one. Again, we have really fine glitter and then really chunky glitter in there, so you're getting a really good mix. We then have this orange fine glitter. Um, not my favourite colour, I'm not going to lie, but I think mixed with some hot pink glitter or something like that, this one would make an awesome summer mix. We then have this iridescent blue one, which I'm not even going to lie, guys. This one is right up my street. It is simply I just love it. I can't say enough of it. It's definitely one of those glitters that I would pick myself, so I'm so pleased to have it. 
We then have a pink holographic mix. This one is like the last one. We have multiple grades in there. Simply gorgeous. You don't have to mix this one because as you could see, it would be perfect on its own, which I do think that for most of these glitters, you could use them on their own. But the reason I got them is because I want to use them to mix with some of my other glitters and things like that to make my own DIY ones. So that's why I was so freaking pumped to find this website because it literally has everything you need to start mixing your own glitters i just love it another silver holographic one this one time sorry we have more little dots but they are tiny so this one i think would be perfect for mixing as well then randomly you also get six pots of really fine glitter in this set as well so first up we have the gold one we then have a really beautiful blue one then we have a purple holographic one which is absolutely beautiful really really pretty and the holographic shift in this is so freaking bomb i just love it then we have this iridescent white one which has a little bit of a gold shift to it seriously beautiful next up we have a silver holographic one and as you can see these glitters are all really fine as well and then lastly for these glitters we have a red holographic one and here is just all of the colours together so you could see the mix that you get. And now guys, we are moving on to my purchases from the Queen of Decals. So I did go on to her website specifically for her new flame vinyls, but she, I noticed that they have now brought out some new version of their decals. So you no longer need a white background for them, so that was right up my street. So I did pick up a few, but first up I went ahead and got a set of these flame vinyls, which I've saw absolutely everywhere. And then, like I said, these are her new version of her decals, so you no longer need a white background, which is perfect for me because I very rarely use white on its own. So I got those denim ones, I then got these really gorgeous sort of like stag head skull ones, they are so bomb and I really can't wait to use these ones. Then I got these gorgeous negative space Louis Vuitton ones in a really bright colour, they do offer these ones in different colours but those were definitely my favourites. I then got those Cardi B ones Cardi B is my absolute favorite I love her music so when I saw these I needed them in my life I then got those negative space roses which are gorgeous by the way and then I got these flame Louis Vuitton ones so these are basically like flame vinyls you may not see the flames because it is white on white but they are so gorgeous and I've definitely never seen them anywhere I then also got a set of these leopard print ones. I could probably freehand these myself, but it's just easy to pop on a decal. So I got myself a set of those. I then got some dripping Chanel ones. And then I got some of these um, cannabis leaf ones in different colours. I thought these were so freaking cool. And then I got some Disney characters because I wanted these ones so I could use them on my regular polishes as well. And then moving on guys, we have some more decals, but this time these are from a brand called Nailin. She is available on Facebook and I saw her through um, 10 little canvases. So I went ahead and ordered a few. So we have number 333, we have number 409 and these are perfect for colouring in. We then have 331, which is a really beautiful floral one. Then we have number 375, which is simply gorgeous. Then we have number 323, which again is a really nice sort of line work design. We then have these florals and lace ones, these butterfly ones, which are number 225, and these are gorgeous. We then have number 429, and I actually saw the lady do a design with these, so that's why I picked those up. They're really beautiful. We then have number 405, number 385, and then we have number 320, which is again a really beautiful sort of lace type design then we have number 411 and then we have number 069 and finally lovelies that is us reached the end of today's video and i really hope you guys enjoyed having a little nosy at all of the purchases i've picked up while i was on my little hiatus but yeah i would just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for sticking around for all of your lovely comments and hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers i'm so pleased that you have decided to join me on my youtube journey 
And finally guys, to finish off today's video, if you did enjoy my haul today, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video. And go ahead and give this video a like and a share, it helps greatly with my channel. And to all my lovely subscribers, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!